Welcome back once again to Mystical Lady Productions and Studios. I'm Stevie O, and you're on board for part six of reproducing Caden Cashmere's The Sweetest Goodbye. Once again, welcome to part six of this 11 part series. If you haven't checked it out already, Go back and check out parts one through five. We cover a lot of ground on what we've done with the song so far, including evaluating the song, sequencing drum tracks, laying down bass, and some keyboard parts. All the MIDI stuff is behind us. Now we're getting into recording real acoustic instruments. Hope you enjoy this next section. Now what I think I'm going to try today for tracking on both guitar parts is to run two lines through my mixing board and then into the interface. I'm going to set up a direct line quarter inch right into the guitar and then I'm also going to use my MB7 Shure microphone and uh, also run that through the board. Now this here is the uh, Shure MV7. It's a podcast microphone which I love using for vocals and I'm going to try it on guitars today. All right, I'll be using my good old Behringer X2222. I use this live and studio. I like to give my guitars and my vocals a little more analog feel. That's why I use the board. I go pretty much direct with just about everything in into the interface, but with acoustic guitars, anything mic'd, and uh, vocals especially, I like to use the board. I'm going to be using the uh, Shure in the channel 2 and direct line into channel set 8. Okay. Now as I listen back to some of the work I've already done, thinking about the acoustic guitars and what I've got in my head for the first verse, it's very soft. So I want the acoustic to come in very gently behind the keyboard and the strings. And then get a little bit more strumming and um, as, as the chorus comes in. Thinking for the verse, maybe a nice little picked 12 string, simple chords on the 6th string, or vice versa. And then here, as it builds into the chorus, definitely if not a strumming, I think I'll mess with uh, like a heavier picking. And as the song continues, more electric guitars are going to come in and the acoustic guitars will probably fade out and be more in the background. Or maybe even not audible at all. It depends on how I decide to mix it. But that's kind of what I have in mind right now. I'm going to rehearse a few different ideas on both the 6 and the 12 and decide which kind of tracking I'll want to do. But that's what I got in my head. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Hey, this is Stevie O. If you are enjoying this content, if you're into this kind of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that jazz. We'd really appreciate the love. We'll see you in the next video. And the strumming part will come in there. I'm going to do that as a separate track because I'm going to be holding my guitar different and playing a different kind of style. So I want to track them differently. I'll come back and blend them together later. What I got in mind for the 12 string is really pretty. You know, it's E minor, G, D, and C. Instead of just doing a picking thing based around the chords themselves, I wanna I wanna use just the four bottom strings and do more of an open note, open string kind of kind of thing.
That's it. Those electric guitars are going to be coming in there. Maybe clean, maybe distorted, maybe a little both. Not too loud and overbearing, but that's what I got in mind for that second verse. 12 string done, and our electric guitars. <laughs> Instrumentation, nothing too heavy yet. Can't wait to add those electric guitars though. And those vocals. Got those two portions coming up. Show you what we got recorded so far. All of our acoustic guitars over here represented in this is the bus right here for all of those guitars combined. Keyboard parts, our bass parts, and all the drums here in red. Got the six strings over here panned to the right a bit. Expand over to the left a little bit. Sounds very pretty. All right. So, uh, got a lot of editing and, and mixing to do, of course, but uh, I'm going to continue on with the series, with the production and recording process, ideas that go through my head, putting them to music, recording the actual tracks. Really appreciate you sticking around for this, and a big thanks again to Warren Hewitt and Produce Like a Pro, allowing me to both do this project and video record the entire process. Appreciate it. <laughs>